Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Today is my birthday, but not really, because it was yesterday, but we're celebrating today. And if you're new to Travel Snacks, welcome to the channel. And Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, using the resources you have, being kind to one another, and maybe living an alternative lifestyle, living in a car van, RV, tiny home, or something like that. So welcome everybody. We already have a lot of people in the chats. And there's a lot of happy birthday wishes, and I truly appreciate that. Hello, GE, Carmen, Emily, Armella. Hey, Mike. Hey, Flower Girl, and Grant, and hey, Superfly Lady. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I have some very sparse decorations and my nice hat. Hey, AJ. Hey, Jeff. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Uh, there's a lot to talk about in today's live stream, um, but first I want to ask you guys how you're doing, what's the weather like, where you're at, and if everybody's doing well. Superfly lady, we're going to get to the van uh, progress in just a few minutes, um, so we'll, we'll definitely talk about that because there's some exciting stuff happening. Uh, okay, so South Carolina, that's great. Is the weather nice there, or is it getting cold, or what's going on? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Timo Music. Hey, Erica. AJ. Um, AJ's in San Francisco. It's hot still. No more smoke for now. That's good. I think the fires are kind of subsiding, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Um, Flower Girl says it's rainy, comfortable, and feeling terrific. That's awesome. We got 70 degrees. We got rainy and 61 near Washington. And in Canada, from Grant, we got 61 degrees. And oh, really windy. I don't like wind. Wind sucks. Uh, Timo Music, it's also one of my classmates' birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday to your classmate. Um, Armella says, we are enjoying the evening at, at a bonfire. Oh, fun. Camping with my daughter, and it's cold, raining, and windy here, but we are inside. Well, that's good. That sounds like a fun time, except for all the wind. Uh, hey, um, Madeleef, Helena. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Greetings from a rainy Netherlands. Hey, from Wendy. Oh, hey, Wendy. And happy birthday. Thank you. And time to go to bed. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, <laughs> sharing a birthday wish. Hey, Chris, how are you? Happy birthday from Carson City, Nevada. 80 degrees and smoke is rolling, is rolling in. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully it'll subside soon. Um, I just got a notification that Travel Snacks is live right now. Well, thank you for letting me know, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay so everybody's doing well um okay so uh oh and jeff hey jeff uh jeff's in the 90s and in beautiful from chris last week okay awesome okay so i am in beautiful san diego and i came out here for my birthday to celebrate with my two best friends angel and ivana which you're gonna see at least one of them <laughs> <laughs> later <laughs> but for now um it's a very beautiful day it started out overcast uh which is typical because we're near the beach um but it it uh, burned off and now it's very sunny and beautiful and it's it is humid but it's still very nice so i'm going to give them the living room for now and i'm going to go take this to another room so we can chat in uh snack chat saturday and then I'm going to talk about the van. I'm going to talk about my birthday and all the things that happened. And then I'm going to come back out and we're going to play a couple games. We're going to have one new game and it's going to involve my friends. So it should be a fun time. So let's go to another room now so that they can have the living room and play music because you know, we can't play music on this channel because YouTube like doesn't let you use copyrighted music and stuff like that. So, um, and also later, we have blowers and hats and stuff like that. So we'll have a fun time. So I'm going to take you guys back. Bye. Bye. I'll leave this here. Okay. I feel like my camera is really like grainier, um, like foggy looking today. Maybe it's better here. Maybe I should have cleaned my screen. 
So I'm just gonna, it's the guest room that I stay whenever I can visit, but I gotta get situated here. Um, my friends picked out this little boingy hat for me, so. Oh, and also, for those of you that watch the live streams, you know that I never really like spruce it up. So got a little wave in my hair and I got some red lipstick. Uh, my friend Angel bought me my first red lipstick yesterday. So let me know, let me know what you think because I usually don't ever really wear a lipstick and not red lipstick and I kind of like it. I would not wear it every day, but I think for fun festive times, it could be fun. Uh, let's see. Fake Freedom. Hey, Fake Freedom. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Flower Girl. Thank you. Thank you, Mad Leaf. Is it Mad Leaf? But you said Wendy. So hopefully that's... I'll put my glasses on. Actually, I can't put my glasses on. Just, hold on. I know it's a little shit. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I'm trying to balance these pillows on my lap so I can have this up here. But now, I gotta try to put these on with this headband it's a lot going on um put nicely together thank you thank you so much thank you thank you very much i appreciate it if you're on the live stream and you haven't already give a like to the like and the notification bell then you'll know every time i do a new live stream or a post a new video and let's see uh, thank you very much for all nice wishes hey monique Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, my daughter's name is, okay. You pronounced it pretty good though. Okay. I tried, I tried. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah. So anybody that hasn't subscribed already, then hit the subscribe. Um, also, um, I always mention this on all the live streams. If you feel like giving a donation to the snack fund, uh, feel free to hit the little dollar sign. Um, under the chat, that's not scary at all, but if you feel like it, you can hit that. That's a huge and YouTube takes 30% of that. However, if you'd like to give a donation um, another way that doesn't take the, the uh, percentage or whatever, you can do PayPal or Cash App. And I'm gonna post it, I'm looking for the links right here. And that's PayPal. And travel snacks cash app. That one doesn't show up the right way. So anyways, again, no obligation. Um, and I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to those of you that have been sending donations throughout the week. I received a lot of donations, birthday wish donations and, um, just nice letters and emails. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. Like just getting those messages and getting the donations, all of it's going towards the van. Um, and it just really helps the channel. It really helps me to keep going with everything. Uh, also all the messages and comments and emails, it's like so heartwarming and you can ask my friends or my family. I've been actually a little bit grieved um, this week because as you guys are mentioning right now, the channel is growing really fast. Um, and we did hit like, we, we hit 5,000 subscribers and we were gonna celebrate 5,000 today. And then it already hit 6,000. It's like 60, I don't even know. Let's see. Let's see real quick. It's already at 6,200 subscribers. And, and so there's and so many emails that I, I literally, can't keep up. I can't keep up. And then it just makes me feel bad because I'm the type of person to, you know, acknowledge the effort and acknowledge every comment and email. And I'm to the point, I me an email or sent the donation and I wasn't able to get back to you. Just please know that it's not for anything other than I just didn't have enough hours in the day to get to every last person, but I do appreciate it. And I want to give um, a shout out. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I got to go back to my email real quick because um, I, a, these are the ones that came through that I know kind of the names of people. Some people sent anonymous donations. So I want to celebrate you, but I don't know your names. 
Um, but Anton sent money. Um, who else? Uh, Lisa Holyfield sent money. Um, Katrina Francis, I think that was on the last one. And also trying to go through really quick. Uh, Mike Brady set a generous donation meter. Um, we're going to get a big, oh, okay, we're going to get victory. Oh, I got to turn it on. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. Like, it's very heartwarming to receive messages and donations. So thank you very, very much. And I truly do appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. And I know everybody works super hard for their money. So any donations truly is appreciated. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, we are doing really well as a channel. Um, I think we're getting about a thousand subscribers a week, uh, which is unreal. Um, and, and a lot of people are going back and binging and watching all the old videos, which is really awesome. And I'm really trying to keep up with new content as best I can with the van build. Um, Jeff, you would think the antennas would keep you from lagging. Is the channel lagging? Is the live stream lagging? Hopefully these aren't interfering. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't forget about us uh, when you become famous. No, I, I think I'm just like a basic person. So I don't think I will be like, you know, uppity or whatever. Um, hey, Celine, it's because you have the dopest person. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. Thank you so, so much. Um, how long did hair take to curl? I never had my hair that beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're so, you guys are so generous and nice with your compliments. Um, I actually um, just put my hair in two braids. You guys have seen me plenty of times with the braids, just the two regular braids. Um, and when it's wet and then it just dries overnight and I like leave it for most of the next day. And then when I take those two braids out, um, it just waves. These are just waves. These are, I didn't use any curling iron at all. Um, and then I did two little braids up here so that the top wasn't just like weird. So these are just like whatever. And then my hair, I needed to put like some spray in it or whatever and some hair oil, but it's super frizzy cause I'm at the beach area right now and it's humid. And so you could see like all the like frizzies. So I'm like, you know what? My snack pack people, they don't care. They just, they like me and we just talk. So <laughs> if my hair looks frizzy, that's the way it is. Hey, Van Life Rocks, how are you? Thanks Carmen so much. Um, let's see. Your internet connection isn't as good as when you're, oh no. I don't know how to, like I'm on my friend's Wi-Fi. Hopefully it's not too terrible and you guys can like stay connected. Uh oh. Buffering issue. Uh, is it getting better? Is the connection, maybe I should open the door, hold on. I'll be right back. Also, I'm wearing a jumpsuit, which I never wear. Like I'm doing some new things. Okay, hopefully that's better. I opened the door, so maybe the connection will be better. I don't know. That maybe it doesn't make sense what I'm saying, but I'm going to try. Um, AJ, I like the curls. Definitely long hair. Don't care. Amen to that. We like you the way you are. You guys are so sweet. Um, thank you very much for all the compliments. Is it okay to write knowing that you may not have time to write back? I like that. So much traveling for sure. Yeah. Um, I always, you know, encourage anybody, if you feel like, you know, leaving comments, long comments, if you have um, critiques or you have like kind of critiques, not like some mean spirited critiques, but if you have critiques or you have, um, you know, things you want to share or ideas for the channel or video ideas, uh, feel free to send emails, write it in the comments, send DMS on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it's, in it's Instagram, it's travel snacks underscore, uh, feel free to share any of those things. And 
I think the best place is to share it on the comments because that also helps other travelers and other <clears throat> other people and other snack packers because uh, there's a lot of people on here that are just beginning car life or van life and it really helps. So uh, if you have anything to share, feel free to share it. Um, like I said, I do my best to try to respond as much as I can, but if I if I if I don't respond to you, uh, don't don't take it personally. Like I don't like you or don't want to. Um, it's just that I need to try to focus on the van build and trying to you know continue to make good content for you guys. Um, hey Terry, how are you? Um, the connection's improving. Oh good. Hey Cat, how are you? It's not that bad, but it does lag a bit. Okay, I'm really sorry about the lag. I don't really know um, how, like, what else to resolve. But also, in a little while, I'm going to take you guys back out to the table where I was. So it should improve a little bit. Um, hey, Nadia, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Um, everybody's saying hi to everybody, which is very nice. And hey, Van Life Rocks coming through, coming through with a little birthday cake. Thank you, Van Life Rocks. Let me get you a, let's see. Oh, I'll give you a drum roll. Thank you so much, Van Life Rocks. All these donations are going to, let's see. We have a lot coming up, which I'm going to talk about in just one second. Um, we have a lot coming up. We have the floor to do. We have... We already have the insulation, but we're going to start doing the floor. I think we're going to start doing the um, putting the fan in, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, awesome. All right. So let's see. Um, okay. So we already talked about the channel growing. Um, it's very exciting because I thought today we'd be like doing like a birthday celebration slash uh, five k celebration and like i said it hit six thousand and so um i feel like it's gonna hit set like somebody mentioned it's gonna hit seven thousand really quickly and we're almost gonna be at the ten thousand that's crazy it always lags at my end internet here is not oh man i'm sorry to hear that um let's talk about the van and then i'll talk about um my birthday, which was yesterday, and then we'll talk about food and snacks, and then we'll play some games. And you guys will get to meet my friends, and we have a fun, different game that we haven't played yet, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We, we spent some time cracking up about some of the things <laughs> that we're going to do, and it should be pretty fun. So if you guys haven't seen it already... on Friday, which was my birthday, um, that we, we finally finished building the roof of the van. Now, if you're new here, you are probably like, cool. And you're like, let's move on. Who cares? But if you've been here a while, you know how gigantic and how big of news that is because it's been a project that's been very challenging and very hard to go through and there's been a lot of tears and a lot of just a lot of craziness and so we finally finished the roof um and i posted the video yesterday we technically finished the roof on thursday um and i recorded it as if we did on my birthday uh, because i knew i was going to post on my birthday but we finished it and it was just like a weight had been lifted and I had a lot of comments from you guys, just so many encouraging, wonderful comments of just knowing how much effort was put into that project. And it just really like warmed my heart to see all those comments. So the final thing that we did, if you haven't watched the video is we had to like sand everything down and like put a layer of resin on. And then we finally like put primer, um, you know, just automotive primer all over the top of the roof. So it kind of matches the gray of the van now. Now the van is going to get painted white at the end. Um, but to me to completion, to me, that means that, you know, we're ready to move on to something else. And so now when I get back from my visit here in San Diego, now we can actually start on the actual van um, as if, you know, what most people will be doing, like 
building the inside of the van and we got to put solar and everything. So it's very exciting because now everything's going to start hopefully moving a lot quicker and you know, you'll get to see um, like a regular van, but I'll be put, posting those videos and stuff like that. So it's been very exciting. Um, and you'll, I'll start talking about some of the other things I'm ordering because I still need to order my sink and my sink pump and all these things. So the, that's pretty much the big news about the van for this week. Um, normally I would walk outside and show you the van, but I'm not at home right now. So that's what we're doing today. Um, we are here to support you. I'm a 7K strong. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you guys. Uh, the roof. Yes, Kat. Um, we know the backstory. Yeah. <laughs> I'm psyched. Very cool. Be cool if you will be done by November. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm really hoping that we really push it and try to get it done like by the end of October, early November. Um, I think we can do it now. Now that the roof is done, I think we can just start pushing things through. And the other thing that happened real quick about the van is uh, you guys remember when I was telling you that we had to take out the AC in the back? Um, we tried to do it ourselves and I was filming it, but we ran into some problems <laughs> because you're really not supposed to do it yourself because there's like coolant and freon and like chemicals and stuff that's involved with cutting like uh, tubes and pipes and stuff. Um, it's just not a good idea to do it, but we did, we did it. And then we got some advice that like, if you don't put the, connectors on the right way since it's such high pressure going through um, it could like shoot off or be very dangerous so um, I ended up taking it before I left to come here to San Diego I take took it to a mechanic and they're gonna secure all the, the tubes so that my front AC can work properly and there won't be any damages and while they're at it I'm gonna have him do like check all the fluids and the oil change and all that stuff so that when we're done with the van everything will be good to go. So actually the donations that if any donations for today, I think I'm going to put it towards, you know, making sure the van is in tip top shape. Um, so that's what's happening. So the van is currently at the shop right now and that'll make me feel a lot more secure. Just knowing that everything is in order. I got a notification. Let's see what it says. Hey, Nadia Peterson. $10. Thank you so much. Hold on. I got to give you a shout. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's do. Let's do Samba Whistle. I like this one. And then we'll do. Really appreciate it that is going to help out with them all fluided up and all ready to get going on the road so thank you so so much i truly appreciate it hey f because white and red crosses on b car van ambulance i think i know what you're saying like put those on the van i don't know if that's legal is that legal can you put like medical things on your stuff i'm not sure um thank you very much uh, Mike, God bless you as well. I know where's Snow Panther. There's a few, few people missing that usually come on here. I'm not sure. Uh, thank you very much, Nadia, for that. Oh, okay, awesome. Birthday gift and or or paper from me and Armella. Thank you both. Thank you so much. You're looking gorgeous, night, Allison. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love, Carrie. You and her father need your own TV show. You all are lucky to have each other. Definitely. Um, my dad's a nut and. <laughs> But it's, it's, you know, we try to make it, try to keep it light as possible because it is, you know, when you're building something together, it can really be challenging. Oh, good, because we don't want dad to, hurt. yeah, definitely. Oh, and we're going to be doing, um, I don't want to, like, say too much about it yet, but we're going to be doing a safety video, which I believe is going to feature my friend, Ivana, and my dad. Um, so that's going to be coming soonish, but I'll talk more about that when we get it all, like, nailed down. Um, hey, Kels, how are you? Thank you so much for your happy birthday wish. And Kels Acosta, he has a wonderful YouTube channel. So if you haven't looked at his channel yet, go subscribe because he's got a very nice channel. And he does like a variety of different things, which is awesome. Um, 
Oh, Carmen, you need a fuel pump. Gross. That sucks. I hate when you have to pay money to get things on the car or van. But it's got to be done. Oh, van life rocks. Not legal about the AC. I know. I know. If that's what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I don't think you can put crosses in like medical stuff. Hey, Chef Life Van Life, how are you? Chef Life Van Life also has a YouTube channel, which I really like. I subscribe to it. Uh, I like low key channels that are like keep it real and like not too much production goes into it because we can all watch those shows on like travel channel and stuff and they're all great. But I like just regular YouTube channels because those are that's where you usually learn like the nitty gritty, like the real things. So I appreciate your channel. Uh, yeah, my dad is pretty funny. Oh, Nadia's your daughter? Okay, now we're getting like a family situation going on here. That's awesome. My brother got snagged for intimidating undercover cop vehicle. Ooh, yeah, don't do that. Grant sure does. I have to take the time to get it done. Yeah, it sucks when you have to get like uh, mechanics involved because it starts to add up really quickly. Awesome. Okay, so we talked about the van. Um, we're going to talk about, let's see. Hey, Shang, how are you? Thank you for the birthday wish. Um, let's talk, 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 <laughs> let's talk quickly about my, oh, thank you, Carmen. This is my new lipstick. I should have brought it in here. It, it's a fancy lipstick. I've never had red lipstick and it's kind of fun. Um, let's talk about uh, my birthday adventure yesterday. I'm a very low key, calm person so we didn't turn up or do anything crazy but um came out to san diego and um, like i said my two best friends are here and it was just very nice and we got starbucks which is like a wonderful thing that i usually don't get uh, anymore because it's just too expensive um we had like a wonderful like lunch sandwiches very low-key and then we went to a restaurant that was we were able to get an outside table overlooking the ocean and it was just awesome it was just a beautiful wonderful night we were able to like walk outside and it wasn't too hot or too cold and this is where we transition and talking about food because um this place had a really great menu and if you guys remember last i think it was last snack chat saturday where we talked about lobster and crab and seafood I think that was last week. Um, and I was telling you guys, I, I never really had good lobster or if I did, I had to dip it in butter too much. Well, this restaurant had lobster tacos, fried lobster tacos, and then they also had one each. Gigantic tacos. So I could have got by with one, but you know I ate both of them because it was my birthday and they were delicious. And it was just very good. Now the lobster taco... Um, I feel like there was maybe because they had like cabbage and then they had white sauce and all stuff. I think it could have gone with a little less cabbage because you kind of lost the flavor of the lobster taco. But it was so good and buttery and like fried. And I haven't really been trying to eat a lot of fried foods, but it was delicious. So if you guys get a chance, you try a lobster taco and you know how much I love tacos. That's my favorite food. So I got that on my birthday and that made me happy. And then my friend Ivana brought, um, have you guys, I don't know where all of you guys are, other countries and states and stuff, but there's a place here called Nothing Bunt Cakes. And it's all like bunt cakes, little ones, like little individuals, which we'll, I'll show you when we go out there. Um, but she brought these little individual cakes and they're delicious. And I'm not a cake person, but these cakes are different. They have a different texture and they're just, they taste better. And they're not like, that weird cake, like birthday cake frosting that I don't like, but these had really good frosting and stuff. So uh, we came home and even though I was super full, of course I still had the cake <laughs> because it was delicious. Um, and so we just had a very basic low key thing. And yesterday we did go to the Dollar Tree to get like these and we got the beads and the little horns and so we get up to the front and at our at the Dollar Tree's here, I don't know how it is everywhere, but at Dollar Tree, you can get helium balloons, like the Mylar silver balloons. 
So we're waiting in line and we're like, okay, we're going to get number 247, 101. And like, we're, you know, picking out the kinds of balloons that say happy birthday and, uh, you know, congratulations or whatever, because, you know, we hit 5,000 subscribers last week. So we get up to the front and the lady's like, oh, we're out of helium. So we only have whatever's just floating in, you know, up on the ceiling. So we look over there and it's just like, they had like Halloween balloons. Half the balloons were deflated and there was just only one that would make sense. <laughs> You'll see when we go back out there and it says, you're so special. So, you know, I guess that's a, kind of a birthday thing, a special day. And it's so special that we are growing as a snack pack and you guys are so special. So that's the only balloon we could get. So otherwise we would have had a bunch of balloons and now we don't. Okay, let me scroll back because I got some messages here. Whoa, I gotta scroll back. Uh, oh, hey, Michelle Problem Solver. How are you? I've been watching you for 24 hours. I'm new. Oh my gosh, awesome. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I've seen some of your comments. Uh, I start to recognize names when I try to go through a lot of comments. So thank you for watching and I'm glad you're part of the channel. Um, thank you very much, Shang. Uh, let's see. Everybody is right. It's best not to make your van an attention getter. Uh, being unnoticed in public is always best, especially when you're trying to get some sleep on the road, for sure. Uh, yeah, as much as I would like to like deck out like the snack mobile, like, you know, have it look like all festive and put travel snacks. Uh, I definitely will not do any of that because I don't want people to be tapping on my window and asking for snacks or <laughs> even just coming up to me at all because you know I'm solo traveler so it's can be unnerving if people walk up to you so I just try to keep it like super low key hey Shana how are you thank you very much for the uh, birthday wish and uh, did you get do you get an email sent to you through your website I do I just I talked about that a few minutes ago I was saying that if you send me an email I've been getting so, like lately with the channel growing so much, I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of comments, a lot of DMs, and I'm trying to get back to all of them. Um, but with the van build, preparing to leave for out of town, all the comments and trying to make content and everything, I've just haven't been able to get back to every person. So if I haven't gotten back to you, please know that I uh, will do my best. Um, and if I don't, then just know that, you know, I appreciate all the emails and stuff. Um, hey, Kevin, how are you? Thank you for your wonderful birthday wish. wish. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, I'm a new subscriber from Memphis. Awesome. I love Tennessee. Tennessee's awesome. Uh, let's see. Sounds awesome. I used to live your tacos thing. That was delicious. It was so good. It's like, you know, when you get something too big and you're like, oh, surely I'm not going to eat that. And then you eat all of it because it's too good. You look so different. I know. I know. I, I clean up nicely. You know, sometimes I let my hair down and put on a little makeup and that's what's happening today because it's a birthday celebration. Where can you get lobster tacos? Um, usually you could get lobster tacos. I would say like any like beach community, maybe. Um, I know in San Diego you can get it, um, but I'm not sure around the United States where, but um, I would say pretty much any beach area. Love lobster tacos with mango margarita. I don't drink, but I love mangoes. That would be kind of good to have like, Maybe a virgin mango margarita or like something like that. Uh, let's see. Love lobster, period. <laughs> uh, Emily, I live on the East Coast. Nothing bunt cakes exists. Oh, okay, so that's maybe like a nationwide thing. Hey, Jasmine, how are you? Thank you for the birthday wish. Oh, Mexican food is my favorite. There's always room for cake. Yes, there's always room for sweets and dessert in my life. Yes, you can healing balloons. Oh, and okay. So I guess Dollar Tree has that all over. Um, and usually they're pretty good about it, but they didn't have any helium. So I don't know. Military has all the helium. True story. Mm, did not know that. Poor Grant can't eat the cake. Uh, let's see. East coast Mexican food just doesn't compare to Cali. No, for sure. Definitely. No. Cali does have some really good Mexican food. Um, let's see. My kids are grown and I plan on road trip like yours, but you taught my me many lessons. Oh, awesome. Yeah, my kids are grown too. And that's when I finally was able to start doing this. So it will come just have to be patient. 
I agree to blend in. Camo is blend in, yes. Uh, I'm not sure what that those initials are. Jasmine, <laughs> Camo Van. Uh, so Allison, do you have a goal date to go back on the road? So, you know, my lofty idea is to get the van done in the month of October, but that's really just four weeks. So I'm going to really be realistic and say six weeks, which would probably put me in mid-November. Um, probably, yeah, mid-November. Um, I'm really going to try for that. Um, if we can get it done sooner, I will. But there's still there's still a lot to go because this is like we're just starting now because the roof was like a whole separate situation. Um, but if we can get it done in October, that would be great. So I'm really going to be just like working really diligently. So it's going to be very busy times for this month, for the upcoming month. Someday I will live in a car van. Awesome. It's to me, I like it. I like the freedom. You made the reality of road trip, not a dream like other YouTubers. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. Like I, yeah, I never even like, I knew I wanted to travel, but I didn't really consider strongly a car life or van life until I just did it. And then I was like, Oh, I actually kind of like this. And then getting a van, I think it's just going to make it even better. And I want to share that because sometimes you go through your life and you just don't really think about different options until you give it a try. And either you don't like it or you do, but at least you could see somebody else doing it and giving like some real tips. Cause I'm, I'm always going to keep it real and say like, what's actually happening. And I don't like to be just like, you know, fake Instagrammy or fake YouTube because that's not, that doesn't help anybody. Uh, you have beautiful hair. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Military has first dibs on helium government contract. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Jack, how are you? Uh, do you have any outdoor swap meets near you? The ones near me have Amazon returns. Oh, with lots of van build gadgets mixed in. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we do have an outdoor swap meet. Um, nearish. So I should check that out. That's a really good tip. Thank you for sharing that. I'm so happy to see the finished band to be honest. Me too. It's funny because a lot of times I'll get comments um, saying that like, I can't wait to see your van build be done. And like, it's funny because like, I am just a regular person just building a van. And like, I have a visual of, like, I how I want my van to look and like, you know, it's like a professional vision, like a Pinterest worthy like van, but you know, it's just me and my dad and my mom just like building like regular things with regular knowledge. And so I'm like, I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out too, because it could look like rinky dink, just put together with nails and just regular stuff that doesn't look like it's surprised as you guys are when the van is being built and getting done. So it's just going to be what it is. So we're all going to be surprised. And I'm going to do like I think once it starts getting close to being done, I'm going to halt on, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm going to halt on showing you guys like as it gets to like close to the end. And then we're going to do like a big reveal. So all of us will be just like surprised all at the same time. And then you guys are going to be like, Whoa, that looks crazy. Or that looks great. And who knows? It's just going to be what it is. Um, that will be awesome. I really love the snack pack. Also. Awesome. Me too. I love you guys so much. Um, also, if you don't like it, there will always be sticks and bricks. That's true. Yeah, if I don't like van life, then, you know, can make other arrangements. I think I'm going to really enjoy it, though. Um, I do want to get a place uh, eventually, like just like a studio somewhere, like, kind of remote, so that like if I just want to take a break from the van for a little while, I could just go and have a little base somewhere in the country. But at this point, you know, I need to like build up the channel and like get some more money and stuff. So I think that'd be good. Snack pack does rock. I love this community. You guys are so awesome. Yes, your initial build could turn out not exactly how you wanted, but that's why you have a second build. Oh, there won't be a second build from me. I can pretty much assure you of that. If like, this is my first van that we're building and this is gonna be the last van I build. So like, let's just say I go with this van for two or three years. The next van I'm gonna buy already custom done because this is already just too much stress for me. But I'm glad we're doing it. Same, um, but putting that high top shelf can do anything. I feel like that was the hardest thing. Like, every, like 
there was not very many resources for us to go by. Like if you, if you guys go on and like search for raising a van roof, there's people building a van roof, but not like raising it and like building up the sides. We, there was very little resources. So we were just literally guessing. And like I said in the video, I'm going to be doing a summary once I get my thoughts together because I'm just done. I'm just glad it's done. Like so glad. But I want to do a summary because I feel like I want somebody to be able to watch a summary and be like, okay, don't do what she did or they did because this is like I have newer thoughts now. Like looking back on it, I'm like, okay, we shouldn't have done that. We should have done this instead. I want to talk about the cost, you know, and there's a lot of things that we ended up spending more money on that we didn't even need to, but you don't know in the moment. You you just you're just trying things and you're wasting money on materials that don't work or you didn't have to do in the first place. And you just, you don't know until you know. And so I want to do a summary for anybody that wants to do it. Then I can say, okay, well, instead of this, we would have done this. Uh, and I think that would have worked better. And then that's better. It's better that you guys could watch that video if you wanted to do it. Um, but like, like you said, if, you know, now that the roof is done, I feel like everything else you can, we can look at other people that have videos of building a floor or putting in a fan or putting in solar. There's an abundance of those videos. So I feel like it probably will go a little bit, a little bit faster now. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, are you guys still on lockdown there? I mean, we're not on full on lockdown. Um, the restaurants are, I think, mostly open-ish. Like last night we went to a restaurant um, and they did have it like, tables um with like barriers in between each table and you can go to restaurants um and you can go into stores and stuff and then the hair salons are back i think pretty much a lot of things are back open and i think i heard that gyms are back open in california which gyms across the u.s were open way sooner before california but we finally i think got gyms back open at like 10 percent capacity so i think you know it's staggering off which thank God, because it's been annoying to be just like on lockdown, but we have, we have to wear masks everywhere. Um, I don't wear a mask unless it's required. That's my opinion. The van is going to be good. Oh, I think so too. Good plan. I love surprises. Yay. Somewhere for R and R. Yes, definitely. I heard a couple days ago they were evacuating the California desert fires. Yeah. There's been like lots of evacuations in different areas. Um, so far, like the area that I'm in hasn't had any evacuation notices and some places that's, you know, in danger. So keep all the prayers up for that. No second build. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No second build for me. Um, Jeff, I started building a van. I ended up buying one. Buying was better. Yeah. Hi. Um, I still like, I still like, even just now looking back, I wouldn't have like, I still would have made the same choice in buying this van because all the other vans, like the cargo vans, the ones that are emptied out, all of those were like at least at least 15 grand. And that's not going to really get it. You know, that's going to be too much money um, because then you start with 15 grand or 20 grand and then you still got to put in like at least five or more grand to build the van. So you're looking at over $20,000. And for me, that's not in the budget to do that. So if you have it, I think that is a better way, but I'm still happy with my choice to do it the way that we did it. Um, every night I watch the pre episode. It's so funny. One of my favorite episodes, <laughs> the P okay. The P episode. I try to liven it up because you know, when you're talking about like stuff like that, it's like, you know, you got to try to keep it light traveling the U S let's see traveling the U S will give you an idea of where you might want to set up a base and where to avoid. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that'll be good to like check out different spaces because you know, you never know until you get there because I always like, I heard, always heard so many negative things about Florida. I don't know if it's a California thing and people are just haters, but like everyone always put down Florida. And then when I went to Florida, I was like, what do people talk about? I love Florida. I thought it was one of the best places. Um, also like, um, Alabama, you know, you always hear people talking about like, you know, Alabama being like really um, 
just like country and stuff. And it's like, I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. And I thought everyone there was super nice. So don't ever listen to people. People just have their own weird ideas. So when you start traveling and you start seeing for your own eyes, you're like, oh, there's like lots of wonderful places. Out of all the places, where did you feel was cheap and safe living? Um, well, I feel like Alabama was, I mean, I didn't price check or anything, but I felt like Alabama was really beautiful. It was probably inexpensive. Also the outskirts of Atlanta, like Georgia, I would definitely live there um, and parts of Florida. I think I'm, I feel like maybe I'm starting to become like an East Coast person, but who knows? I think I need to check out like more areas to make sure. A bread box and posty and the posty. The hardware store definitely becomes your second home when, <laughs> when doing a build out. I've been to Home Depot, Lowe's and Harbor Freight like so many times like so many times, so many times. It's very true. Uh, my doing that in the past led me to where I wanted to re relocate out of Southern California for 70 years. Take your time, take pictures, take notes and ask for God's guidance. Amen. I agree. You agree. Thank you so much. Yep. The roof raising. So many people will learn from it. It will be helpful. Good. I'm so glad. That's my goal. See you soon, Van Life. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for the uh, nice birthday message and all your wonderful comments. Hey, Grant coming through with a donation. Thank you so much, Grant. Grant's one of the like awesome uh, snack pack supporters that's just always on the live streams. And it's just, it's very heartwarming and I appreciate you so much, Grant. Uh, let's give you your special shout out. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's see, let me get down. Uh, I can't wear a mask, go go into panic. Tried it once and had to run out of the store. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real issue. A lot of people have uh, like uh, breathing problems, uh, panic attacks, claustrophobia. Um, I'm a, I like to stay out of the political conversations or like some of these deeper conversations because there's already enough like biting between humans, like people are just like, you're, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And I really just want people to be kind to each other and try to just be more like tolerant, tolerant, tolerant of each other, uh, whether you agree with each other or not, like people are more than one thing. In my opinion, I think you like, you can hate someone's views about some things and like they could be the nicest, most generous, wonderful person and like a lot of areas and people and I may think like your opinion is stupid, but also maybe my opinion is stupid. I don't know, but I don't agree with masks. Honestly, <laughs> I don't agree that I don't personally, just me, just me. I don't personally think that they're doing anything, but that's just my opinion. I think they're doing more harm than good, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, and the odds are the more you pay for a vehicle, the more your maintenance is going to be. Oh, that's true, too. That's also true. Like, you know, you got to think about long term that you're going to be having to maintain these things. And if something breaks, it gets more expensive. Uh, let's see. Oh, see you soon, Van Life. Thank you so much for the donation. I got to give you a shout out. Let's see. What's this? I, I, don't listen to this one because I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, OK. I'll give you that one. It's called DJ warning. I'm like, whoa, that's a party situation. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you soon, Van Life. I appreciate it. Oh, and oh, another back-to-back -back donation. Uh, thanks, Cat. I like these little like stickers. There's <laughs> that one is rolling around, cracking up. Thank you. Let's see. Let's give you the like ah! record scratch, and then let's see. Let's do party horn. Ah! Explosion. That's a series right there. Thank you so, so much for all the birthday slash uh, snack fun donations. All that's going to go towards the van. All of it. Uh, Jeff, Alabama. Hello, humidity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of the East Coast places are humid. But, I mean, look, my hair's already frizzy here, so what's the difference? Um, but I still liked it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just different. 
Thank you guys so much. You guys are so supportive of each other and that's really awesome. It's smart to stay out of the political stuff for YouTube for sure. Yeah, because it's like, we all have our opinions and you know, I've noticed that, well, I'm sure all of us noticed that when you have discussions of strong disagreements, this person, well, let's see, I don't know how you guys say it, but person A is a strong opinion, person B is a strong opinion. No one, either of these sides is gonna change the other person's opinion when you're that heightened of like, I'm right, I'm right. No one is changing anyone's opinion. So to fight about it with a person that's like, if somebody's like, you know what, let me hear what you have to say because I'm on the fence and I'm not sure. I just want to hear what you think. That's a productive conversation. But a person, two people that are like, you're 100% wrong. No one's changing nobody's mind about those things. But you have tinfoil on. <laughs> I'm a conspiracy truther. I am too. Like, uh, you know, I don't even like it's, you know, people say, oh, conspiracy theories, but I think some of those conspiracies are not conspiracies that are truth. But, you know, we're, a lot of us are never going to know any of the back stuff that's actually hope going on in the world. So I just, I just stay on Jesus and the Bible and leave everything out of everything else. Okay. Let's see. Did you use the camping apps like the, free campgrounds. I didn't when I was on, um, in my car, but, uh, let me show you what I have here. Um, I started a van life, uh, thing on my phone and I have like all trails, recreation.gov, free camping, um, campers, helper, outly compendium, um, outly the dirt and the I overlander, Oh, and then there's the USFS portal, which is the national forest. So I have a little like folder for like when I start getting out there, cause that's something that I really want to get involved in is staying on national forest land and BLM land, which is um, Bureau, Bureau of land management. And I want to make some, a lot of videos on those. So like people will know more so how to go like stay on those properties as opposed to like in Walmarts, because Walmarts, like a lot of the Walmarts and parking lots are, disallowing overnight parking it's getting worse and worse and not as easy um did you okay let's see the sound effects <laughs> i wanted to get like an actual machine that plays the sound effects but this is as good as it gets because it has a lot more sounds i want them to put more and i'll probably look for them later but for now that's the sounds we got having ice cream today vanilla good one i like little puns like that i think it's funny um we don't have any ice cream, but we're going to have the cake when we go out here, which we're going to do in like just maybe two or three minutes. Um, we had cinnamon, we're going to have cinnamon rolls back here at the house. But when we got to Starbucks, we noticed that Starbucks now has an, uh, the impossible sausage breakfast sandwich. So it's fake meat, the impossible burger, like fake sausage. And so we're like, let's get one and split it in half, see what it tastes like. Because as most of you know, I'm focusing mostly on the plant-based eating, which this weekend's kind of been out because I've been eating like a lot of cheese and delicious. We had nachos and it's just been a whole thing. But um, we got this impossible breakfast sandwich and it was really good. It's better than their um, egg white turkey bacon sandwich. If you've had that, that's not that good. But this one was really good, buttery flavor and like the, it was good. So if you want to try that, get that. Um, hey, Bandana Nomad, how are you? Thank you so much for the wonderful birthday message. Amen and amen. Um, I learned recently that it's way cooler to just put, to just plant seeds and don't worry if it will guarantee, uh, germinate other person or not. I'm just a seed planter. I think that's respectful. I agree. I'm a seed planter. Take it or leave it. That's how I say it. And I'm, I try to be very respectful of people because I'm not the ultimate authority. I don't know everything. I just know what I think I believe. Um, should also look at all stays app. I wonder if I have all stays. I might have all stays on here. Mm, I have a lot of folders that I need to organize. So all stays I've heard of, and I think that's a great app as well. So thank you for sharing that, Terry. Uh, and U.S. Public Lands app. Okay, I'm going to add that. I need to find out and reorganize my folders, but uh, those two are good to write those down too. Much of the West and Rockies has open BLM land to stay on. Yes, that's also true. And there's a lot of good places. Um, so always check those out. Just remember BLM stops in New Mexico. Okay, I did not know that. Colorado especially. Um, and amen, amen. Oh, Grant. 
you already gave a donation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me go back to your. Thank you so much. I am also getting a couple notifications. It's like, it's a real party in here. It's a real party in here. I love that little dancing guy too. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is my birthday. Whoa, Terry. Terry already gave a donation. And Terry, you're coming, uh, Teresa, you're already coming through with another donation. What? Come on now, that is like, honestly, it's like so generous of you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna give you this one. Hallelujah. And, and let's see, I got another notification. It's like Christmas. Uh, Christiane, uh, is this Christiane or Christy or whoever you are? Let me know. I want to shout you out. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, let me give you your sound effect. Raise your hand so I know who you are. Um, we'll give you a drum roll and a ta-da. Thank you so much. Oh, Chris, it was you? Awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are super generous. This is the best birthday ever. Like, it's so nice because, you know, I like I had a lot of calls yesterday. I had a lot of comments and like, it's just so nice. I'm just, we're developing such a great community and it's just really awesome how great you guys are to each other and to me. So thank you so much. Um, okay, the existential journey. Airbnb every couple weeks, sometimes cheaper than a laundromat. That is true. And I think either you said it or somebody said it in one of the recent live streams. And I'm definitely going to take advantage of something like that because when you're on the road, um, sometimes it's nice to have like a little like normalcy. Um, now it's nice to get free parking and like free things, but laundromats are not free. Uh, and so if you can get like a little um, studio Airbnb or like a cheap, not crazy motel, but like, you know, sometimes there's like good deals. I think it is really good to have like a real bed, like, you could stretch out and a real toilet and like a shower in the bathroom. So you don't have to go to Planet Fitness. And like you said, a laundry, that really makes a difference. So that's a great tip. No sound effects, please. And it's not much, but I sent you a uh, paper because I, I skipped it. And so I know YouTube takes it. Thank you so much. Very, I very much appreciate it. Um, many happy returns. Thank you, Ridgeview. I appreciate that. And welcome to the live stream. Snack Pack is the best community ever. I really believe that like this community is so uplifting to each other. Like I never imagined like, you know, something you don't really think about, but I'm just so happy that everyone's just so kind to each other. And that makes me so excited to like one day have like meetups and stuff so we could just, you know, be in person and be very kind to each other. That is perfect. And thank you. Your videos have kept me company while recuperating. Oh no. Okay. Well that's good. It's not COVID and um, hopefully you're recovering and healing nicely. I like the Airbnb idea. It's fantastic. Yes, this is a good idea. A real bathtub is priceless for sure. Um, laundry, shower, snacks. Yes, snacks. Relax. Um, Jasmine, some mariners have stuff like that free. Awesome. Happy to thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think we have um, kind of gone through the list of things I wanted to just like basically talk about. Um, before I go into the other room, does anyone want to share like what they're snacking on this week? Because I like to we like to talk about snacks and food real quick, and then we're going to go out and play a couple games. So let me know. Um, we are upbeat, kind, and supportive. I agree. That's a great definition. Um, I think it would have been more fun if you had a partner to travel. I mean, listen, I would love to have a partner. Like, I mean, really, I'm just, I, I'm happy by myself. You know, I'm okay with being by myself. I mean, I would love to be in a relationship with somebody. Uh, but it, it's, at this point, it's up to God, honestly. Like I, I've, I don't want to say I've made poor choices, but I mean I have made some poor choices. Um, and I feel like in my, I don't like, I don't really talk about relationships, personal life very much on here. But I feel like you know, in my life, I've had some really great relationships, but also they were my like choosing that wasn't like the best. Knowing that person wasn't probably the best for me, and it didn't obviously turn out that well, you know? And so I'm waiting on God and I'm waiting and I'm just trying to be like more 
thoughtful and clear minded about the relationships that I make with people and especially dating. I don't date right now. I don't really do that. So it's going to have to be somebody super special and somebody super like loves God and just like very, you know, has a similar lifestyle. And so right now that's just not even a focus for me, but it would be great if I had a traveling partner. Um, but I wouldn't travel with anybody unless it was like my partner, like my romantic partner, because it's just like too tight of quarters to be traveling with like friends or people you're not like together with. So I agree with you, but right now I'm good with what's happening. Just we have same name. Yes, two Jasmines. I just overdosed on Indian food. I don't even think I've ever had Indian food. I think that's a thing I need to try. Peanut butter and blueberries together. Did you dip them in there? That sounds good. Popcorn, I love popcorn. Only if my traveling partner has their own vehicle, <laughs> right? They're like, you stay on your vehicle, I'll stay in mine. About to snack on some bits and bites, but you don't know what those are. True, it's a Canadian thing. Well, maybe next time I'm, I'm in Canada, I'll get the bits and bites. Um, hey, Pierce Spirit Nine. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, let's see. We are human, so we sometimes make less than perfect choices. So true, so true. Um, I used to do travel alone too. I got married to my second wife almost 12 years ago and she loves to travel. Awesome. God was great to bring us together. That's amazing. Got to have the right person and you got to be on the same page because otherwise it's just not great. No name is Rose too. Oh, wow. You guys are similar. Um, Indian fry bread topped with whatever. It's all good. Oh, awesome. Yep. In a van, you have to like the person you're traveling with uh, if it's more than a day or two. That's so true. That's so true. Um, yeah, I feel like if you're like traveling in general, you have to have good connection with somebody because you can get real irritated real quick, but especially living in a van or even like an RV, you're in such tight quarters and you've got to like maneuver together. you got to be like in a good flow together. So I feel like, you know, that's probably not anytime soon for me, but who knows? God only has that answer. All right, so I think we're good on that. And let's take it into the living room. And then my two friends, I, I know for sure my friend Yvonne is gonna join us. Um, my friend Angel, I'm not sure yet, but it's her house, so we'll see. Um, ooh, barbecue chicken sandwich. I'm not really eating chicken, but that sounds really good. There's nothing uh, wrong with being single. Hey, Amen, I've been for three years since my boyfriend passed away. Oh my gosh, sorry to hear that. That is heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, I agree with you. There's uh, like, I mean, yeah, it gets lonely, but I also am totally fine with being single for now. And you meet a, still meet a lot of people and I still have a bunch of love in my life. So, you know, just got to take it one day at a time. Pizza for the weekend. Yeah. Pizza sounds delicious. All this sounds delicious. Um, right before I came on the live stream, I had a veggie sandwich on sourdough. It did have real cheese on it though. So that's probably why it tasted delicious uh and van life we should cross paths you guys are making plans that's awesome nice glasses remind me of my teacher hey on, is it Henri ramos or henry nice to have you here sorry to hear that camera yeah um I'm, I'm waiting for a driving test but after i'm going to do the van life thing too oh that's awesome i'm munching on trader joe's trail mix i love trail mix the one with the m&ms yum all right okay let's take this Oh, I have pillars are falling all over the place. I got my notes. I got my phone. Um, I'm going to run out real quick and just let them know we're coming. We're coming. Digestive issues. Wait, hold on. The most single I've ever been was when I was married. That's facts. That That's happened to me before, too. Sometimes if you're with somebody and they're not participating, that hurts. Um, digestive issues that keep me from... Snaking these days, snacking these days, but my guilty pleasure is be, oh, ranch dip. I love ranch dip. Thank you very much. I've got to get back to my build out. Awesome. Thank you for coming and thank you for the donation. God bless you and thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Let me just go tell them we're coming. Okay, we're coming. Okay, I see you. Okay. Oh, I so 
guys, my friend Ivana like curled her hair and she's so pretty. Heads up, we're coming. We're coming. <laughs> yeah. Pull up a chair. Anjou, get your hat ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm shorter than you, though. That's okay. Um, I curl my hair. This is Ivana. Hi. Do, am I supposed to look up there? Look, it's the connection keeps getting unstable. But oh. if you have been on the live stream for a while, you'll know Ivana is two sisters and a cocktail on the chat. And now you can put a face with a name whenever I say, hey, Ivana. And we got special hats, too. And you guys can see the your so special balloon that we could only get. <laughs> oh, it's Ivana, I-V-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Oh, good try. Good try, good try. <laughs> uh, let me scroll back. Uh, hey, Tanya, thank you for the birthday message. We're making our entrance. We are. We're, we're coming in with the hot entrance. Hi, right, everybody. We don't want to all y'all hello at the same time. Hi, uh, Fake Freedom. Hi, Terry. We look like twins. <laughs> we're sisters from another mister. Hi, Armelia? Armella. Armella. Grand, Hi, Armella. Pure Spirit. Bandana Nomad. Hi, Bandana. Awesome. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait till you guys get a little my friend, Angel. She's special. She's she's so special. Yeah, she is. The balloon is for her. No, she's precious. Uh, it's I-V-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Ivana. I know, everyone is always like, but it's spelled with an I. Uh, that sounds like an E. From the Pacific Northwest where moss grows on every side of trees. <laughs> We're sisters. Hi, Grant. I'm older than her by a lot of years, though. So. Oh, stop it. She's exaggerating. Oh, I'm older. I'm five years older. I turned 47 yesterday. OK. Now they know Grant how old it. I am. Now they know how old I am. <laughs> Grant got the name right. That's how you spell her name. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? It's my, my birthday was yesterday. So I say happy birthday. Okay, gotta ask. Your hair looks great. Did you all tear yourself to a salon? I didn't know the salon. Look at my roots are terrible. No, I did this. I did my own. You did? I did my own color. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, I had to use this like um, brown powdery stuff. Yeah. It's like eyeshadow for your hair. And so I had to cover up some of my grays. You cheated. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> um, no, we didn't go to salons. Like I, I do have an appointment um, for the end of October, but I think I'm gonna push it until I'm ready to leave because I don't want to spend the money. And it just is what it is. Uh, yeah. COVID hair, yeah, COVID BFFs hair. BFFs and my other BFFs over there too, but you'll see her in a minute, but not all the way. She's wearing a hat. My real name is Jeannie. Oh, nice to meet you, Jeannie. I mean, you're Hi, on Jeannie. here all the time. It's cool I found someone to follow that don't drink and don't do drugs. I don't drink. They drink, but not not, dr not, not drunk. Not lush. No, not, not lush. lush. Uh, I don't drink, uh, and I don't think any of us does drugs. No. No. No, we don't be partaking in that. She's a spring chicken. <laughs> COVID hair, grays. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of grays. I try to cover. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay. Your other friend kind of looks like me, though. I don't know what you, I don't know what any of you guys look like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to, um, we birthday to her too. She just had her birthday recently as well. Um, which country do you want to visit next? Um, I think I want to go to Iceland. I had a quick, like, layover in Iceland, and I really wanted to, like, leave the airport, but I didn't have enough time. I'd like to go to Iceland, and where do you want to go? Well, I've never been to Europe, so I would really like to check out Italy. Um, and, Milan, and Milan is in Italy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Europe, Europe. 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 I want to go to Europe. Oh, we're buffering. Oh, we get a little lag. It was a little I, lag. I hope I'm not stuck with a funny face. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> Every day we're buffering, buffer. I want to go to Florida. Florida's great. You should go there. Italy is great. So is Spain. Oh, I haven't been to Spain. Ooh, I want to go to Spain. That would be nice. Okay. So we're going to do. Three would you rather questions, and then we got a surprise game after that, which is when you're going to see 
on Joe, but not really because she's all covered up. She's not having this look. Okay, so you can do your first one. Because okay. Ivana came up with two of the three would you rathers because it's a special day. It's a special party. It is. Okay. Should I start? Yeah, this one. Okay, so would you rather live in a luxury bunker underground, luxury, luxury, fully loaded, you got all the money in the world, but you are all by yourself, you can't have nobody come over, and you're in the part of a world where there is nobody around. So would you rather live in a luxury bunker or would you rather live in an apartment where there's people around, but you got no furniture and you got no money and you can't work to get money. You've got to get everything for free. So what would you rather? But do? you can be around people. But you can be around people. You can have a partner. You can have friends. Yeah. But you ain't got no money. Right. So luxury, no people. <laughs> Poor, but friends. Oh, I'm seeing bunker. Okay, so we got. I just. I do. I do a down. quick little tally just to you know. Okay. Okay, so wait, wait. Tell me if it's underground or tell me if it's bunker or poor. <laughs> okay, so we got an underground. Okay. If Grand we get it right, do we win a trip? <laughs> you get a trip to the the fantastic world of <laughs> hugs. <laughs> okay, so we got one underground. Grand just says, "Wow." Well, he <laughs> don't doesn't like either of those choices. <laughs> What else we got after Grant? We got another uh, underground. Okay. 2020, I'm taking the bunker. <laughs> People uh, are like, you know what? Screw everybody. I don't care. <laughs> um, somebody saying either or. No, you got to pick one. It's pick a game. One. You got to pick one. Um, okay, we got one around people. Okay, Nadia. Okay, good for you. I hear that. We got another bunker. Grant's uh, bunker. Grant, Grant, okay, okay. I don't know that. Jeannie likes being alone. Oh, yeah. Good point, Red Box. I'm re with people like you in the apartment. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Luxury yeah. bunker. Mike's taking the luxury bunker. I'll hang a sign outside that says, I knew this Archie was bunker one. just to be sure that I'm not going to be bothered. <laughs> you know, anybody that's under, I don't know who, what age would not uh, understand who Archie bunker is, but <laughs> you do, right? I do. Okay. <laughs> We know who that is, but a lot of people wouldn't. Uh, Michelle wants the apartment. She wants the apartment. Flower Girl Bunker. I like people, I like but people. I'm okay being alone. All right. Okay. Hey, Karina. Friends are priceless. I can't imagine that. Okay. So Karina's with the minimal poorness. Michelle's with being poor, you know, <laughs> but having friends. Yeah. Grant, you know it. <laughs> Do we get to choose who's in the apartment? Yeah. Yeah. You, you're around people, so... You get to choose. You're good to go. Like you have freedom, but you, you just, ain't got no money. There's nothing in that apartment, and there's no money, and you can't work for money. So, oh, yeah. repeat it for Monique because she got busy. Okay, so just a quick summary. What? Yeah, so luxury bunker underground. You got all the money, um, but you but you're not around people, and nobody can live with you. Or empty apartment above ground where there's people. You got no money, and you got to get everything. But you got friends and family or whatever you want. Yeah. But you got to get stuff for free. You can't work for money. So Karina says friends, pure spirit, apartment. That look, you were worried she didn't know who Archie <laughs> I was like, you don't know who Archie Bucker, but she does. I do. I do. I, do. I take over because I like to be with my friends. Okay. I'm a slow reader. Where are you? I'm already down here. Oh, my. No money, no cry. No money, no cry. Monique's going with the apartment. Okay. Well, we started out strong with the luxury bunker. We did. A lot of you guys are loners. Like, don't care. You're like, nope, I don't care about you. But then it started pull, to pull more strongly towards friends. Uh, Terry's going to take the apartment. Okay, now we overtook it with the apartment. Either or, but probably bunker. Okay. Mm. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. Today, we're not going to guess which one I'm going to do, but I will just tell you. Well, you want to tell what you would do? I don't know what I would do. No, honestly. Um, okay, so I, I, I'm okay being alone. 
I'm okay being alone. Is that your answer? Um, dang, they're hard. I didn't, even, I didn't even think this through. I, I know. Just, I just thought of the, oh, um, Big Freedom says that I'm going to say apartment opposite of you. <laughs> Again, the last week worked pretty good. That's, that's a good strategy. You know what? I, I, I would do the bunker. You would do the luxury bunker? I would do the luxury bunker. Amazon delivers by drone. I could. I got all the money. I could. I could buy whatever I want. True. It's just. Can it be a sailboat instead of a bunker? <laughs> no. I like friends and simple life. Still solitary. <laughs> so I would choose fake freedom. Right. I would choose the poor apartment. I've already lived in the car, so I'm good with that. Yeah. You. You. You're used to the minimal stuff. Yeah, and even though people bug me a lot of times, I still think I would want my friends. I would want my family. I have sons, so I wouldn't want to leave them, and I couldn't do it. I would just have to go poor. Yeah, yeah and fake freedom. Again, opposite. I know. Fake freedom's onto a strategy. Opposite. We didn't plan this. I'm I watch the, the, you know, sometimes I go on the chat, so I, I see what's happening with fake freedom and <laughs> <laughs> and fake freedom is on the roll. opposite of what? Yeah. Fake freedom's on a roll. All right. Okay. Um, you can just read them because okay. I'm always reading everything. Okay. So the the next one is, would you rather have? Um, so the, these two things you can you can only eat for the rest of your life. Would you rather have French fries for the rest of your life and it's all you can eat, or would you rather have a cinnabon? Cinnabons, all you can eat forever and ever, or French fries, all you can eat forever and ever. Are you saying like in the like you can only eat that one thing, no other foods, or that's it? Oh yeah. shoot, yeah, no other that's, foods. That's harsh. French fries or cinnabons? Fra fries or cinnamon rolls? Mm -hmm. Or cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, we're already getting. So we got fries. All right. I have to think about that. Crap, either way, you aren't going to live Cinnabon. very long. <laughs> You're not going to live very long. So Cinnabons or cinnamon rolls. Let's just say cinnamon rolls. Let's show them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got legit props on the cinnamon rolls. We made, we made cinnamon rolls yesterday. You know, cinnamon rolls. Like delicious Woo! cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Like, can you guys smell them? They should have more frosting, but they're still delicious. <laughs> okay, look at we oh, got it smells good. Cinnamon. Oh, I can't count. Ah, it's going so fast. It's going so fast. It's okay. It's okay. Fries, fries, cinnamon, cinnamon. Okay, wait. Fries. Crap. Either way, I'm gonna live. Cinnabon. That's easy. Allison knows why. Grant. Grant's a diabetic, so he can't even have oh. cinnabon. So he's going with the fries. Sorry, Grant. I know. I feel bad. Uh, Cinnabons without French dressing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, don't put French dressing on Cinnabon. Cinnabons. Oh, wait. Wait. Nadia's picking the fries. Uh, Terry's picking French fries, hands down. Mike Brady, my wife says Cinnabon, okay. And Karina, one vote between us, I'll let her have it, okay. You can have a vote too, Mike. You can eat if, you know, if there's two people. That's a hard one. Salty versus sweet for sure. Yeah. Um, hey, Miss Marina Vlogs, how are you? Miss Marina's taking fries. I have none, but if I had to choose, it would be fries, okay? Fries for Grant. Fries, there are lots of dips and sauces. That's this fats. Is, this is true. That's fats. Uh, Michelle, problem solving fries. Not so, so not healthy. You die from that, but I would say French fries. <laughs> I mean, it's true. This is a fake thing because you would just die. <laughs> nice, but I would choose uh, French fries. Okay. Uh, Karina loves both. I love both of them. It's a hard choice. Dang, now I want cinnamon rolls. I know. They're delicious. My wife wants one or two or three. <laughs> uh, French fries, high quality with ketchup and malt vinegar. Ooh. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Um, yummy. Yep. Okay. Karina wants the fries. Those look delicious. So, yeah, they were really good. I mean, a lot of fries. A lot of fries. A lot more fries. Uh, Mike Brady, fries for me, not for, okay. It's me too, Grant. <laughs> I know. 
if they are unfried and I can mash them back into a potato, I mean, that's a little cheaty, but they are still potatoes. They are. I'll give it to you. That's fine. Okay. I say okay. Pure spirit fries. Oh, we got fries are strong in the lead. How about fries flavored like cinnamon rolls? <gasps> Look at fake freedom thinks that I'm going to choose cinnamon buns. Oh. I don't know. Have to see. Would you eat fries that taste like Cinnabon? What? No. <laughs> no. That's weird. I don't see how that would taste good. But it'd be like cinnamony. I don't think I would do that. I don't think I would flavor my fries with cinnamon. Were you on frosting? the? Were you on the um, episode when they were giving me suggestions for weird food? Comments? Yes. I that think I'm hilarious. Like, maybe I'll put that on there. I'll sprinkle, I'll do fries and sprinkle some like cinnamon and frosting on it. Mm. That sounds gross, but I'm going to write it down. Fries. Okay. You do that with cinnamon. I'm not going to be a part of that. <laughs> That's okay. I, I do it for the snack pack. If you had a buttery, buttery icing dip. Mm. Actually, you know what? Mm. You know what, yeah, Karina? You fries and frosting, so. I was just going to say. Angel's peeping in. She, she, has, she got something to say. Listen, Angel's going to go get with me on this too because I went to Whataburger and they have the honey, what's it called? Honey butter chicken biscuit. Honey butter, no, the sauce. Honey Just honey butter? Sauce, yeah. Honey butter sauce. And I dipped my fries into it. I mean, it's not cinnamon, but it's a frosting, like a frosting. It's like a honey buttery. So it might not be terrible. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think you will. you all will pick fries. Try Old Bay seasoning on fries. Oh, I thought oh, yeah. Old Bay, but I've never tried it. I agree with people that. People do it with sweet potato fries. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen people eating the sweet potato fries with cinnamon. Cinnabins. Cinnabons. <laughs> Cinnabons. Cinnabins. Fake freedom. Cinnabons. Oh, Charles. Oh, you think I'll juice Cinnabons? And which comes with free health care and a cardiologist? Oh. Neither. You're, these, these are doomed. Like, yeah. if, if this is all you're eating. You're on your own. You know. Travel snacks. Yum. And let us not forget poutine. Have you had poutine? No. <gasps> it's French fries with gravy and cheese curds. This sounds gross. That does sound curds. Anything curds? That sounds gross. It sounds gross, but it's delicious. I don't want anything curdling on my food. No. It's cheese. Oh. Cheese like curds. cottage cheese curds? No, they're like, like mozzarella, but it's not mozzarella. And they're like little round okay. nuggets. Okay. I mean, I like cheese. You like it. I like it. Okay. Okay. Is it's all over available in Canada? Yeah. So that's a Canadian thing. Well, I'll try it. It's delicious. I'll try it. Okay. So that was an overwhelming French fry extravaganza. So we're going to announce which one. Squeaky cheese. When you eat the cheese, uh, okay. first, it squeaks in your mouth. Interesting. It's hmm. okay. Squeaky. I don't know if poutine's from Belgium, but it's definitely a Canadian thing. Dry curds. Dry curds? I don't know about that. Okay. So, um, which one would you choose? Fries. I, I choose fries. I choose fries. What? You don't choose fries. I no, choose fries. Don't choose fries. You lie. I, I choose fries. I choose fries because, listen. What? You, I can only eat so many sweets, and then you start getting that sick feeling. But you fries. love sweets. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> You're a liar. Lies. I don't believe you. Lies. This is ridiculous. No longer my ridiculous. friends, you two. No, I, no, we talked about this. No, that's not right. It's her birthday. She can choose fries. Yeah, it's my birthday. I can choose fries if I want. French fine, Canadian. Fine, fine, fine. Listen, I love, I love a good cinnamon roll. You know it. I had two rolls already. You baked twenty of them. Yeah, I baked a lot of rolls <laughs> for but, twenty people. Are you Yankees or from Canada? I don't know what that means. Is that negative? I don't know. I'm not means. sure what that means. Um, but what? you can have fries for longer and not die. Yeah. And also, like, I think Monique said, you, there's so many dips. Yeah. You can make a fry casserole. Yeah. You can only do so much with cinnabon, cinnabons. Well, that's why it was a good one. That's a good question. <laughs> They're from the U.S. Yeah, we're, we're in the U.S. Are you from Canada? Or, uh, I don't know this Yankees reference. Is that like, I mean, maybe I'm just not into history. I don't know what Yankees means. Well, we're Yankees versus people from 
himself. South is called the northern I don't know. We're from California. <laughs> yeah. So if we're Yankees, I don't know. If that's negative, though, don't say that because we're not negative people. But I don't know. Maybe that's just a thing. It's, it's her birthday and she'll, she'll have fries, fries if she wants, wants to. Fries if she wants to. Yeah, I love it. I like it. Seriously, I know that song. No way they would be choosing fries. Come on. Fake freedom. Fries if she wants to. Everyone's <laughs> singing along. <laughs> Means American. Oh, okay. Well, we are Americans. Maybe from other countries. I did not know people like yeah. address, um, you know, Americans that, that way. I didn't know that's the thing. Northern Territory. Rebels are Southern. Oh, I don't okay. know. I've never heard these references. Yeah. The Irish ate potatoes only for a century or so. They are healthy. That's what I'm thinking too. I mean, fries are fried in oil, which is terrible for you. But or I think you can live longer on that. Uh, I'm a fellow Canadian. Okay. So that's something we learned today. Cool. Something new. Hold on one second. Let me just check something. Okay. Holland. Where? Oh, Henry is from Holland. Oh, I want to go to Holland. Wowzers. Yankee That's is hard. a term used on the East Coast. I did not. Oh, hey, Thor. How are you? That makes sense. We refer to Americans as Yankees. I did not know that. So this is a new situation. Yeah. All right. So we got one okay. last one, and then we're going to play a fun game. That's different that we've never played before. And we can only really do it with friends. So yep. it'll be fun. So you could go ahead and read the last. Oh question. my gosh. This is we decided to do a celebration. Would you rather topic? Would you rather? Because okay. it's a celebration today. Yeah. So okay, so would you rather celebrate? Would you rather have a party with a whole bunch of celebrities? But it's only you. You can't invite your friends. Or family. Or family. So you Party and a bunch of celebrities, like high class, like a full yeah. on biggest luxury party. Yeah. Celebration. Yep. Celebrities. Yep. Or, or small gathering with just a few close friends and, and family. And the celebrity, you know, so once, once in a lifetime thing. So, yeah. Like, when else are you going to be like every celebrity and every sports figure? Yeah, you could, I would even go so far as to say superheroes. Oh, okay. Let's put them in there. I don't know. That seems fun. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Okay, we're you're Western, not Yankee or Southern. Okay, we're Western, so we don't we don't go into that. Okay, family. Okay, let's uh, let's. I got to turn my pin back on. Okay, so we got family and friends, small, small gathering, family and friends. Fake freedoms like neither. Neither. Okay. Terry's small gathering. Never met a hum humble celebrity yet. Fact. Well, I don't know. I think I've met a few nice people. Small gathering. Don't like big parties. Okay. Carmen. <laughs> Carmen's like, I'm sticking with French fries. <laughs> I don't care about that question. <laughs> Quality over <clears throat> quantity. I like it. All right. Okay. I like it. I like it. Bring on, Bring the, on the celebrity, celebrity party, party. Grant. Grant. Okay. Grant, is there any special celebrities that would be on your party list? No celebrities, so friends and family, all right? Okay. Uh, I've been with celebrities, hands down, fam. Okay, okay. Monique's with the small, small gathering. gathering. Flower girl, small, 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 any day. Oh, Henri goes with... Let me know. If you choose If you choose celebrities, let me know one or two of your, like, guest list. Because I don't know. Grant's like Jennifer Aniston. She seems nice. Yeah, she does. Small gathering. I have met a lot of celebs when I was younger. They are just regular people, strangers. That is a story for another time. True. Okay. All right. You are gone. What happened? Oh. Are we gone? Did we get disconnected? Do you see my? I see, do you see me? Do you see me? I see you. You <laughs> oh, see me? <laughs> I see you. Mert Ali Gunjor from. Oh, hey, from Turkey. Wow, that's far. <laughs> Welcome to the live chat. You're here. We're, We're here. here. We're here. We're here. Okay, We're good. still here. Good. Thanks, Grant. Wow. We have the majority of the people with the small friend and family gathering. Okay. Homes. Okay. All right. Um, is there, did everybody vote? Okay. I think so. What I think would so. you choose? Oh, it's me again. I didn't know I had to think of the answers, too. Yeah. Um, and we're back. You know what? I would, I would do actually the small gathering. Okay. 
um, because I'm not like, uh, what do you call it when you, when you oh, starstruck, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, no, you know, there's actually only one celebrity I would like to meet. I know who it is. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so but that's for like dating. No. Oh, I thought female. Was... Oh, okay. I don't know then. <clears throat> Beyonce. Oh, I don't care about her. <gasps> Sorry. She's going to kick me out of her house. I am going to kick you out of my house. Yeah, we should. I have two very strong Beyonce uh, fans. Humongous right here. Humongous. I like Beyonce, but I don't. She's not my favorite. Okay, so yeah. But so, we're still friends for now. So I do the small. Small. Okay, so you do the small. Let me read these real yeah. quick. Yeah. But I can see friends and family in time. But Jennifer Aniston, I mean, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Michelle says we're still here. Look, hey, look, how are you? Um, I'd party with superheroes. Thor and Star-Lord seems like they would be fun. Actually, Thor does seem super fun. And he's very hot, to be honest. Have you seen Thor? No. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, uh, Donald Trump is on my guest list. Make America great again. Well, there's okay. somebody for everybody. Uh, Flower Girl, makes, make sure you click live to make sure you're not behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes when I'm on live too. stream and I scroll back and then I'm like, not. A, uh, I'm a refugee. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome. welcome. Um, I would pick, you know what, I, all of you should know, I would pick the small friends and family. I don't get like starry eyed for celebs or. So, so, so we're like the same. We're the same. I, I don't actually care about any celebrities because they're just regular people. Now, if through the course of my travels, I meet celebrities and they become friends then they could be part of my friends and family. Yeah. Um, I would take the little tree guy. Was it? Oh, his name is, um, what's that little like tree looking? Um, Groot. 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 That thing is super cute. It was Groot. Yeah. Groot. Groot. No, I said Groot. I don't know who Groot is. I don't know who Thor is. Groot. Let's look. I don't know. It's so cute. You're going to be like, that's cute. I don't know how to spell it. Whoopsies. This little guy. Oh, he's a cutie patootie. Fruit. Oh. It's so cute. He is so cute. Armella says, Tor is my boyfriend. Fruit over R2D2. Yeah, for sure. It's too cute. Fruit is a cutie patoots. Look how cute. He's a cutie. Like, hi. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay. We're moving on to a little game of do you guys know me? I don't know. We didn't have a name for it. We didn't go that far. Everything has its own beauty. That's true. What was the character, Allison? What character? Oh, Groot. That little tree is called Groot. G-R-O-O-T. You, um, do you want your... Yes. We're going to have a guest. We're going to have a grand entrance <laughs> from one of my best friends. Of all time, Angel. She doesn't want to be on camera, so this is a birthday gift for me. And it's not really like she's not gonna really be on camera, but she's gonna be on camera. Yes, this is Angel's big giant. I'm trying to drink a lot more water so that I <laughs> kind of counteract all the crap we're eating this weekend. Groot means big in Dutch. Oh, I didn't know that. Ta da! How was her name spelled? Angel. A N G. Yeah, A N G E L L E. Angel with an Ellie at the end, Angel. <clears throat> um, and between the two of them, they're gonna ask you guys questions and all of you are gonna give the answer. And these questions are about me because they know things about me that we, we tried to plan things we don't think you guys would know about me. Some of you would maybe know a couple things if, you know, <laughs> let me type her name in. Put your beads on. I need somebody to give donations so I can do my more. Oh, uh, you can say oh. that. <laughs> she said, I need somebody to give some donations so we can blow our horns. No donations are necessary, but if you feel like it, you can. I love your travel cup. Wish I could have one with coffee in my truck. I could never drink this much coffee. I'd have a heart attack. Um, have to sign out of the feed. And feed the horses. Enjoy all. God bless. God bless you. And thank you so much, Terry, again, for the donations and for being on the live stream. We are crazy. Um, okay, so we have five questions. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let you guys, like, choose who wants to 
Yeah, sure. go ahead. Crack me up. Let her do a few. Ah, no, you part. can sit here too. We're gonna all sit oh. in here at the same time. Okay, so That's introducing, introducing Pat Face, Pat Face McGee on gel. Hello, <laughs> she's like Sia. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is worth the price of admission, which is free, but also, <laughs> see, Grant is enjoying this. Look, he gave a donation. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you, Grant. I'm still going to give you your shout-out. You are so too. awesome. <laughs> because Grant is a major supporter of this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, nobody that shy. Nobody's that shy, they said. She's not shy. Not shy. She just doesn't want to be on it. I don't want to be on camera. It is very difficult to find a job in this America. I mean... True that. I mean, right now, because... Things are shut down. You look like that character on Fat Albert who hit his face. Oh my god, totally. Oh, no. I will 100 take that. She'll take it. I'll take it. I don't Hello, remember her name. Coffee is delicious. Yes, don't be camera shy. She's not camera shy. She just doesn't feel like being on camera. Um, okay, so we're gonna do five questions. Are you a cyclops, Angel? Yes. <laughs> yes. Jeez. You guys scoot closer to me. So they can see the whole hat. Is this yes. the problem? They can't see your hat. Your happy birthday sign. Okay. Okay. We'll get closer to her and then. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for free. <laughs> she has a Mardi Gras beads from her hat. She wants to represent. Well, she, you can talk about Mardi Gras if you want. I mean, I am from Louisiana. She's from so. Louisiana. I don't want to share all her facts, but she's from Louisiana. So, and Houston. So she's got like a lot of, you know, fun festivities in, in her, but she's awesome. And She's my bestie, just like she's my bestie. So we're here. So okay. I'll let you go first. You're going to ask this what question. Was my question? Oh, can you, can yeah, I forgot. Can you see? I can. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't know. I mean, You guys know that she likes sweets. So my question to you is, how many pumps of sugar do you think she gets in her Starbucks coffees? It's a grande size iced coffee. And... Everyone guess how many pumps of liquid sugar I get in a grande iced coffee. <laughs> 37. I, oh, oh, oh. I mean, that's close. No. It's not that, it's not it's that, not that far, far off. Um, <laughs> someone says, are you missing facial parts? No, no. no. Does she have any cases pending against her? No. no. <laughs> okay, so we got 37, four. <laughs> Somebody said Ian. I don't know what that means. Uh, Corey, uh, Karina says four. Jasmine says four. Mike says three. Henri says she is like she's on the beach with that hat. She does love the beach. A uh, fake freedom says eight. Monique says three. Pure spirit says eight. Luke says three. Grant says six. Armella says three. She doesn't have a beard. No, she doesn't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an auction. The numbers keep going up. <laughs> yes. The flower girl says five. Nobody's gotten it yet. Well, wow. well, somebody, somebody's close. Wow. Somebody's close. Somebody is. We're going to give a minute. If you guys haven't answered yet, how many pumps of liquid sugar do I get in my grande okay. ice coffee? Okay. So we got flower girl, seven, Armella, nine, G seven, uh, four, nine, two, four. We're going to wait one second. And then I'm going to reveal my answer, my sugar addiction. Monica says 11, not far off. Sticking, hey, sticking ah. 37. Ah. Grant says 12. Here's 10. All right. 10, we got two for 10. Her, our current is a six. YouTube lotto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is like a YouTube lotto. Uh, one. Okay, so. Drum roll, please. I'm not even ashamed because I love it. I even had it this morning. Zero, Henri. That's a good, that, that's a good that's thought a, because nobody said that. Yeah. But that's laughable because I am like a sugar addict. Monique says 13. All right. So are you guys ready? Let's do a drum roll. No, I got a thing. Oh. You got a sound effect for everything. <laughs> it's nine. Whoever said nine, I put nine pumps of classic liquid sugar. Yowzers. Uh, which is like, in the cup, it's like this much liquid sugar. That's a lot. Karina, oh wow. 
that hat just laughed. She did laugh. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> She's ordered it from you for it's embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed because I love it. <laughs> oh. I was close with my first guess. Eight. Yeah, you guys were getting close. Yeah. High blood sugar. My second guess. Yes, yes, yes. It's a lot of sugar. That's why mm -hmm. I don't get it very often because I used to get it every day. I was kind of surprised when I learned nine. Like, I used to get it every day, and then I realized, like, that's why my face was getting fat. Like, we need an intervention with you and nine pumps. Okay. No, <laughs> no this is the no judgment house. No judgment. No judgment. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, I can't even imagine. Grant's like, no, no. Uh, likes a little coffee with their sugar. That's pretty much it. It's that like pretty much it's it. like milk sugar coffee, basically. Because I also get extra cream. So it's like it's like basic basically beige. It's like a beige <laughs> cup of sugar coffee. Uh Armella, yes, you got it. Uh most of a uh, most I had was three and I almost had a stroke. Three, mm -hmm. that's nothing. That's I that's can't amateur even hour. That's amateur. I can't even I can't mm -hmm. even taste sugar with three. My taste buds are you drink your tea sweet too. Oh yeah, I love sweet tea. Mm. I gotta have it like pre-sweetened and then put more sugar too. All mm -hmm. right, so that's the first question. You guys have a lot of good answers. Um, all right, do you wanna read this one? I don't, I can't read that. Okay, I'll let Anja do it because she's the one I can't, wait, okay, you do this one. If I were to, okay, yeah. Okay, this is, she's gonna ask this one. Okay, so. If Allison was to drink, which we know I don't drink, alcohol, mm -hmm. would she, um, no, don't, don't tell them what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Just ask oh. them which drink I, oh, what, 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 what would she drink? If I was to drink alcohol, there's only two acceptable answers of what alcohol I have or would drink. Yeah. Yeah. So which do you guys think alcohol wise that I would drink if I did drink? Yeah. Bam. Okay, Amela says, I, you have two big spoons of sugar in my, oh, you have two spoons of sugar? Yes, I love it. Does it come with an insulin test strip? <laughs> Starbucks <laughs> should give me that. Yeah. You, it will use, okay. I like how we can uh, conversate from different parts of the world. I know, it's great. Know. There's so many different options, or different countries and whatnots. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I may be amateur, but I ate hiding from DHS. <laughs> so, from your phone, that's a good Okay, fake freedoms with vodka. Uh, we got Bailey's Irish cream. Mm, ooh, that's a good guess. Yum. I know. That's yum. We got rum, tequila, Kahlua, whiskey, mm. tequila, margarita, Hennessy. Oh man, <laughs> these are good. One of the one of the acceptable answers has been named, but keep going because the other one has not been named. A daiquiri. That's actually a good choice. Yeah, because that could be like an alternative, that's but that's not on. That's not one of the two, because it is sweet. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Malibu and cola. Hmm. Hmm. Malibu. Hmm. Hmm. Anyone else with a with a guess? Seventy percent alcohol. Just kidding. You shouldn't drink alcohol. <laughs> Southern comfort. <laughs> oh my! No. Oh boy. I haven't heard of that one in a long time. Anything imaginary, like I was once in a cartoon drinking beer, but in real life I don't drink. I could see you doing that too, only in a cartoon. <laughs> we got pina colada, Smirnoff, wine, wine. Jägermeister, Ooh. and another for pina colada. Now I want a pina colada. That does sound right. Nice. <laughs> I really good. think that does sound good. A virgin one would be delicious because I do like the ingredients. Yeah. Jack Daniels. So far, nobody's gotten the second choice. Margarita. You guys are going to be like, oh, oh, my gosh. That's gross. Amaretto. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Okay. We got the whole gamut. We got a whole bar full in this yes. chat. Yes. All right. We're rounding it out. Any other final <clears throat> guesses? Zima. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no. I sorry. I mean it's a good guess. That's been a long time. That's do they even still make Zima? Not in the US, <laughs> but they do in Japan. I had it in Japan. Really? Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Virgin colada. White oak. Is that wine? I don't know what white, white I don't oak know. is. White oak? I don't know. Jack Daniels would text. Okay. Wine. 
tear you up. Oh, tear you up or tear you up? I don't know. Probably either because any alcohol, I can take a sniff of alcohol and I'm drunk. That's why I don't really drink. Oh, it's white oak is rum. Oh, okay. it's rum. I did not know that. Tickle that. pink? What's a tickle pink? I'm scared of that. <laughs> drop the phone. I'm sorry, drop the phone. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what a tickle pink is. Hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared of that. That seems crazy. Water, pretend it's vodka. It looks the same. Right. You could be at a party and be like, yeah, I'm getting so just turned Woo! up. Jack Daniels would tear you up. Yeah. It surely would. What was that? Oh, Tequila. Maybe it's not a trash can. What's a Rocky? Reiki? R-A-K-I? Gin and tonic. Another one for gin and tonic. White Russian. White Russian. These are all good guesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody's guessed it, though. Turkey's Rocky? Oh, Scotch? That? Yeah, I don't know. Some of these may be from other countries that we don't know about. Yeah. Scotch? No. All right. Brown cow. I don't know what that is. Greyhound. Oh, Medora. Oh, oh. These are getting... Turkeys drink Rocky. Oh. Oh, Turkey. Okay, so he's from Turkey. He or she okay. drinks Rocky. R-A-K-I. I've never heard of that. Margarita? I blacked out on a bottle of Skinny Girl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hilarious. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to reveal because a lot of... A few of you, hot toddy, a few of you have guessed... One of the acceptable choices, which is rum or Malibu and Coke or Malibu. Um, somebody said mudslide. So if I drink, I'll either get a, but I don't really like Malibu. I like Parrot Bay coconut rum, and I'll put that with Coke or like with that. cranberry juice or with pineapple. But the other one that nobody got, you guys want to tell them what it is? Fireball! 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 Nobody said fireball. Probably because it's like for teenagers. But listen, it tastes like Christmas in a bottle. It's warm. <laughs> it, it goes down fiery and delicious. And Grant's like, really? Yeah. Really? Yep. I What's that? What is that? Right. Great Freedom's like, what is that? It's cinnamon whiskey. Probably because it's nasty. No, it's tasty. It's like... A cinnamon stick. Cor Karina says cinnamon bun. <laughs> cinnamon burn. Cinnamon burn. Probably because that. Never heard of that. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know that one. You guys don't know Fireball? Go get in the cabinet. I brought some. <laughs> Not now. Like, I used to have drinks, and then I brought them over here because I'm like, I'm never going to drink yeah. this. It's cinnamon whiskey. Never would have got that. It's like Goldschlager. I've never heard of that, but look. Oh, yeah. It's, it's exactly like Goldschlager, except without the gold. Yep. Never heard of fireballs. <laughs> like those red hot candies. Yes. Hey, A. Smith. Yes. So I brought these over because I'm like, I don't drink anymore. I'm never going to drink this. So this is now on Jill's party stash. <laughs> um, well, I live where you do, so I should have come up with fireball. Yes, exactly. Fireball. I don't know. But look, it says cinnamon whiskey right on it. Cinnamon whiskey. It tastes like those red hot candies. Oh, the devil's drink. Exactly. That's why I don't partake. But it is delicious, honestly. Wow, with a little devil on it. That's another thing. I don't like that. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, he's spitting oh, out Oh, I don't like it anymore. I know. That's why I don't do it. I don't like it anymore. He's got a fireball spitting out of his mouth. Oh, let's put this away. Put it away. Put that away. Um, when I first met my wife, <laughs> she had some in her cabinet. And 20 years later, it's still there. Yeah. Um, and it makes your clothes fall off. Facts. My phone is running out of juice and have no more power bank. Oh, no. Well, oh. stay as long as you can. Um, it was an up here thing back in the day. Yeah. It was like, it had its heyday. What does that hat lady prefer? Oh, I'm a wine drinker. Wine. What do you prefer? Uh, vodka. You do? Mm-hmm. Not wine? I like wine. I mean, I'm, yeah, I love wine, but if it's like, we're going to go out and have a good time, vodka's my drink. What about you? Oh, like a party drink? drink? Yeah, like a party drink. I prefer cocktails. You're right. Um, party drink? Yeah, I'm probably... Tito's. Yes. Yeah, I, Tito's. I'm probably vodka too. Cat lady seems bored. She's she's tolerating the games. Ivana prefer yes. Tito's. I don't think I've ever had Tito's. I don't think I would even enjoy that at no, all. No, you wouldn't. All right. We did that one. Um, do this one. 
Um, so we were talking about 90s music today. We were actually listening to some 90s music today. And there is a really popular R&B song from the 90s that you hear every once in a while, especially like at a dance club, um, that everybody loved. And Allison hates. I hate hates. it. I hate this song. Hates this song. Name the 90s R&B song that I hate. And every time it comes on, I'm like, turn it off because I think this song is stupid and it's overplayed and I hate it. But it, we say R&B, but it's like a club jam. Like you would it's a dance club jam. to it. Someone said the roof is on fire. No, I, that's a good jam. <laughs> the hat says something with a straw in it. Oh, something with a straw in it, like a drink. Okay, so no guesses except for the roof is on fire? Nobody knows 90s music? Shaggy? I mean, I don't love Shaggy, but that's not the one. Shaka, Shaka Khan. Khan. Oh, I love Shaka Khan. 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 No, I like that song. Hello, I can't drink unless I'm spending the night. <laughs> yeah. Hints. Hints. Um, Don't sing it. I'm not going to sing it. I'll give it. It's by a male singer. It's not a band. It's a male. It's one one male singer. One male dude. <laughs> sexy and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> sexy and I know it. Purple Rain. Oh, no. That's Blasphemy. Purple Rain is awesome. I love That's Prince. That's Blasphemy. We love Prince. I don't know any of those songs. I haven't been in any nightclubs. Oh, dang. Uh, do I, do? I, uh, I was in uni in the 90s, so I'm clueless. Yeah, some of you people are too young for these 90s. So I like nice. big butts in a can. Mm -hmm. like, that's a jam. Yeah. Bobby Brown, I love Bobby Brown. Uh, you love Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is good, too. I like Bon Jovi. Purple Rain is 80s, too, also. Can't Touch This. No, I like that song. Little Red Corvette. I love anything by Prince, so it's not going to be Prince. I pretty much love all <laughs> Prince. <laughs> 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 this song is played every time at a club or a wedding or a bar mitzvah or any, like any wild thing. No, Barbie girl. No, I'm going to give them one more hint. Okay. And it's a really big one. They're asking for another hint. Okay. Give that girl a drink. Hint number two. And yes, thank you. I do need a drink. And it says I'm too sexy for my shirt. No, <laughs> no. Um, your your second big hint is that the first name of the singer is Montel. That's a huge hint. If you guys don't get it, it's first name of the singer is Montel. You guys should all get this. I mean, they may not all get it. They might Google. <laughs> they can Google. They can Google. Yeah, this this is the one song that it comes on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hate it. I think everybody's Googling because everyone's quiet. Everyone's busy singing the song to themselves now. Now you're when you when you guys know the song, you're gonna be singing it in your head for the rest of the day. I was a punk back then. Oh man, okay. Oh, okay, shoot. Don't know the title though. Get it on tonight? No. Jordan. Monique says Jordan, but I can't think of it. Oh, yes. an existential journey. Got it. This is how we do it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes, your spirit got it. I hate that song. Raise your hand if you hate the song with me or give it a thumbs up if you love that song. <laughs> I hate it. Raise your hand if you hate it with me. Let's get a, like, a raise of hands if you don't like this song. Henri says it's his favorite song. Now see. Flower Girl says I think I hate it too. <laughs> Pierce for it easily. Karina says I don't care for it. Do you guys like it? It's fine. What song? This, this is how we do it. When... Okay, so Luke says that song is awful. Armella's with me on the doesn't like it. Monique says indifferent. Karina raised her hand, so doesn't like it. Grant says, I know I hate it. GE says it's catchy. And yes, it is so catchy, then you have it in your head and it's annoying. Uh, it was just a guess. Uh, Grant says thumbs down. Jasmine says stop. Krista Joy, hey Krista, has a ghost emoji. I'm not sure if that's something or another, but. Welcome to the live stream. All right, so we got, that one was like hard because not everybody like listens to the same type of music. But if we're ever at a party and that song comes on, it's done. Okay, we're gonna do two quick one, two last quick ones and then we're gonna wrap it up because we have other friends coming over. Michelle says, I hate that song. Yes, I'm on the same page with you. Um, I don't think they're going to get number four. I think you need to skip that one. Okay, we're not going to do number four, because you guys are definitely not going to get it. No. You like Caribbean things. I don't know what that means. 
Uh, yeah, I'm a classics person. Okay, we're only gonna do one more, one more. You're not gonna get this one, but it's gonna be a fun one, so. And it's about food. Um, I'll let Angel do this one because she was with me when this happened. Yeah, so. So we were in Cordoba, Argentina, and we were starving and in, or in Argentina, things close at like four and they're closed for basically siesta. So from like four to eight, pretty much nothing's open. But we were starving. So we went into a mall and we got mall food and Allison got food poisoning. What kind of mall food in Argentina do you think she got food poisoning from? I mean, it was awful food poisoning. Like I thought I was gonna die food poisoning. So what food gave me food poisoning in Argentina? Tacos, tacos, corned beef, chocolate covered ants. Oh, guinea pig. Oh, pork, fish. What else we got? Henri, if you feel like asking questions, you can ask a question. I'm fine. Oh, sushi, some kind of meat kebab, pork, pizza, Chinese. I'm going to give you guys a big hint. It is an American fast food chain. Yeah. That's it's an American hint. fast food chain. Chinese empanadas, hint. fish, llama. Oh, llama. No. Poor llama. I mean, all these other things are like, F these pigs, F, these, <laughs> F this pizza, F this fish, F the llamas. Yeah, but you can't pet a fish. You can pet a llama. Flies maybe touched it before you. Oh. Grant said McDonald's. Thor says pig. Krista says McDonald's, Henri, Burger King, Panda Express, McDonald's, shrimp. Okay, so for those of you that said McDonald's, you're right, but what was it at McDonald's? Fish, McDonald's fish sandwich, KFC, McDonald's Ew, I don't fish. like those. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like the fish sandwiches at McDonald's. They are so yucky. I don't mind them. I don't like it, but it's a little dry. I don't like it. Uh... Okay, Monique says Big Mac, uh, fries, big burger, McSalad. hamburger. Oh, come on, mixed salad, Big Mac, ribs, chicken nuggets. I do like a good McRib, but that wasn't it. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. French fries. McDumpster, a cheap knockoff of the original chain. McDumpster! Oh. <laughs> That's why I said fish sandwich. No, okay. That's fair. Mac and cheese. Do they have mac and cheese at McDonald's? I don't know. Not here. McChicken, nuggets, ice cream. Cinnabon. Do they have Ooh. Cinnabon at McDonald's? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mac and cheese. I do love mac and cheese, but I don't think they have that at McDonald's. I mean, somebody already gave the right answer. Quarter so. pounder, McRib. I don't eat there. Okay, so I'm going to make the reveal. Apple fritter, chicken burger. Chicken burger. McRib. Um, so the thing that gave me the food poisoning was a Big Mac in Argentina in a food court. And it was awful. Yuck. Egg Mac. I never heard of an Egg Mac. Yuck. Yeah, it's gross. Um, I don't know what it was within there. Maybe the meat or maybe the sauce or something, but it was oh, almost yeah. terrible and it was awful. And I was down for the count and Angel had to take care of me because we were in, on, we were in Argentina. I couldn't go to the doctor. We didn't have anybody and it was just awful. So that's what happens. Is that why you want to go to plant-based foods? No, I mean, I still like McDonald's, but I don't know. There's a lot of reasons we could discuss on another episode. Um, okay, I'm signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Angel left the, left the building. Thank you for your participation, hot lady. Yes, give up our hot lady. Everybody give a, a clap or a thumbs up to Angel and to Ivana. <laughs> Because they were good sports, and no, she's not high. She's not high. I'm out. No, bye, Ivana. No carnivore <laughs> diet. No, I don't. I'm trying not to eat meat. Thumbs up. Everybody say bye, Angel. Thumbs up. Everybody's giving the thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up because we have friends coming over to just chill and hang out and eat some more good food. And I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all the wonderful birthday wishes, snack chat donations, birthday donations, emails, messages, comments, DMs, everything. It is truly appreciated. Everything's going towards the band build. You're going to see more of 
Ivana and a couple future videos. And I'll be making some more videos next week. And we're going to be getting onto the van build next week, like the real deal stuff. So look forward to that. Um, thank you guys again. It's been a wonderful, fun time. Thank you guys for participating. And let me just read you. Have a wonderful evening. Great fun. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Earth Strong. Thumbs up. Okay, bye. I wish I could join your party. Go eat one of those Cinnabons. Oh, yeah, I probably am. Internet went out. Oh, no. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Always fun. Have a great birthday. God bless you. Always. It's okay. I'll write some more to week. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, are you on Twitter? I have a Twitter, but I don't use Twitter. Um, but if you guys want to go on my Instagram, it's travel snacks underscore. Um, so I'm on there mostly. God bless you all in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Saturday and a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you guys on the next snack chat Saturday. Bye for now. Wait, where's the blower? I'll give him a little. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <coughs> this one's. <laughs> This one sounds sick, <laughs> but that's what we're going to end with. God oh, bless you all. Crazy. Have a wonderful afternoon, and I will talk to you guys later. God bless you guys. Bye. <laughs>